What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Monday, and welcome to this week's collection review. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and today we're going to be jumping into the very blingy watch collection of Justin Bieber. Let's do it. Baby, 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 ooh. Babe. Oh, is it? Oh, I did on purpose. I look like an idiot on purpose for viewers. All right, so before we jump into who Justin Bieber is, although I don't think I need much of an explanation, um, what kind of watches he collects, who I think he is as a collector, and what I think he should buy, uh, a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing uh, a very recent acquisition, uh, a Mustic Cartier uh, in yellow gold for meal. It's in wonderful condition. It actually looks like it's in bad condition, but if you understand condition in watches um, and how uh, uh, things like yellow gold gold do uh, patina this has developed a, a bluish a blue purplish kind of uh, patina around the gold uh, which to me is quite beautiful I think it makes the cabochon uh, pop really aggressively I'm all about interesting little details in watches um, I love I love patina I love aging I love old things I love things that look old you know that's that's why I started a vintage watch shop uh, so anyway this is what I'm wearing on the wrist right now I might be keeping it I, I really love it that's it's like it's the, the Andy Warhol watch the Truman Capote watch uh, for me that's that's a pretty cool thing so uh, the polar opposite of what I have on my wrist today is the topic of today's conversation um Justin Bieber a funny character, someone who uh, is uh, internationally beyond famous. I don't, I don't really even know what to call Justin Bieber's, you know, equity in the public. It's beyond. I mean, it, I mean, it's, 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 it's really unbelievable. It started years ago when he was just a kid on YouTube. Um, I don't, I don't know Justin Bieber. I don't know how smart he is. I don't know how talented he is. Um, I'm not a big Justin Bieber fan. But um, he's, he's, got, he's got to have something that's truly tremendous. Even if I don't like his music, even if I think that some of the rumors about him, um, you know, like like peeing on uh, in, a, in a in a in a bucket, you know, at a restaurant, I don't know. Maybe he's a jerk. I don't know. But uh, two things are sure are, are, are for sure here. One, um, whatever he is doing works. And two, because it works, he has a fortune. The internet, as if that's some sort of an authority, uh, pegs him right under a quarter of a billion dollars, which is a lot of money, particularly <laughs> for a 22-year-old kid. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's, 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 it's disheartening. But what has he decided to do with his 250 million-ish net worth uh, in respect to his watch collection? Let's start here. He's got a 41 millimeter diamond date, date diamond dial and diamond bezel. Um, uh, it's a gaudy watch. I mean, it, it, first of all, a date, date at 36 millimeters without diamonds is a pretty gaudy watch. That's the Tony Soprano watch. That's the uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross watch. It's the watch that is pretty much so synonymous with shoving wealth in other people's faces, right? Blow up the case from 36 to 41, you definitely are making a statement. Add diamonds to the watch. You are making even a larger statement. Um, but it is factory. It, it, it was done, it, it, these diamonds were set, as I can tell, by Rolex factory. And they are, if nothing else, well done. I think that if you are going to do diamonds and watches, this is fairly tasteful, fairly, t you know, fairly tasteful particularly if you put it next to his other date date here, um, which is totally diamond encrusted, not factory. Rolex has never produced this. Uh, I don't like this watch. Um, I get why Justin Bieber might like it, you know, I think eventually the, you know, regular, you know, day date with without diamonds all around would make it boring in his world. Everyone has it in his, you know, in his kind of world, his circle. Everyone can kind of, everyone can kind of swing 40 grand or everyone can kind of swing 30 grand on a day date, um, but having it totally paved out. So I get why it's done, but I personally hate the watch. Toning it down a little bit, uh, but still definitely keeping within the same vein, uh, Justin Bieber often rocks a yellow gold Rolex Daytona with diamond indices. Um, what I'm glad about is the, the, the bezel is the original Rolex uh, tachometer. It's not one of those diamond bezels on Daytonas. I think not only do diamond bezels on Daytonas look in my opinion, pretty ugly, much worse than other diamond bezels on other watches. Um, but they take away basically the entire function of the chronograph. 
I, I get it. Justin Bieber probably doesn't care about the function of a chronograph. I'm glad that he didn't choose to, you know, baguette and pave this one out totally. Um, but right here, you know, stopping with, with the three Rolexes we've talked about so far, you can tell uh, that Justin Bieber is a, a couple of things very into gaudy, gaudy watches, right? Solid yellow gold diamonds. Um, and considering that the three watches we just talked about are all Rolex as well, on top of being yellow gold and all accented with diamonds to some degree or another, um, the fact that they are Rolexes, I think says quite a bit about Justin Bieber as well, or at least his correcting, collecting career at that point, uh, t to date at that point. Um, Sticking within Rolex is kind of a funny thing when you have an unlimited budget. I love Rolex. Rolex is one of my favorite brands ever, um, but I, I don't have an unlimited budget and I'd like to go beyond Rolex. Not to say it's better or worse, but to go beyond and explore. It doesn't really matter. When you have an unlimited checkbook, it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, so I think that was an interesting and kind of odd choice. To me, how do I read it? That he doesn't really care, right? He, you know, it's, 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 it's a bracelet to him. And uh, why put more time into something you don't really care about? But maybe that changed recently when Justin went out and bought a couple of firsts for him. Um, one, it seems to be his first Patek Philippe, and two, it seems to be his first Royal Oak, both Pave diamond encrusted, but both in white metal. Actually steel, I believe. He kept the Patek and he gave the Royal Oak to his new fiance, Haley Baldwin. It must be nice to roll like Justin Bieber and give away tremendous watches like this. Even though neither of these watches are my style, you gotta give it up for Justin Bieber in the generosity department because I am sure that this was no small bill. So to recap, Justin Bieber probably doesn't care so much about watches as we do in this poetic, um, highly studied kind of way. I doubt that he waxes poetically about coaxial escapements and the history of the Calatrava in his spare time. but. They are an important jewelry piece to him, obviously. I can almost never find him without one. In fact, I've seen photos of him with two. Baby, baby, ooh, baby. Oh, is it, oh? And obviously, in his venture into Patek and Adam R.P. Gay, he wants to collect a, a wider variety, a more hot horology uh, uh, level of watch. Kind of reminding me of a Floyd Mayweather-like collector, iced out hot horology brands that are more like jewelry pieces. But the big question, what do I think he should venture into next? Naturally, I would like Justin Bieber to venture into the world of things, although still blingy, and I get that, maybe a little bit more tasteful, like a rose gold royal oak without diamonds. But if he wants to keep with that diamond, pave, baguette, whatever, good for him, that's cool. My suggestion then would be pick up something that you could wear perfectly, beautifully, uh, with a suit. You know, Jay-Z, someone who's very famous for wearing very blingy watches, wears a rose gold reverso with a tuxedo. In their line of work, they're at big, important, fancy events. Um, and I think with an unlimited checkbook, Justin can spend some time and some money uh, on fine, maybe something on a leather strap from Piaget with, with, with baggy diamonds. Uh, I don't care so much about what brand, and I'm fine with him going diamond all the way through, but it would, in my opinion, be really nice to see him class it up and, and, and make get a little bit more formal at some of these really big events. I think that would be that would be a classy move by Justin Bieber. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like watch content, enjoyed watching this, subscribe to our channel at Theo and Harris and like this video down below and I will see you all tomorrow on In The Metal.